Hello everyone and welcome back to The Millionaire House. In today's video, I'm sharing my top tips on how to style built-ins or bookshelves. I hope you walk away with at least one new idea. Let's go ahead and get started. At The Millionaire House. Okay everyone, so I'm just about ready to get started styling my built-ins for spring slash summer. And I wanted to share some professional tips that I've used in home staging for real estate, um, but also home staging for living. And sometimes you can find pieces that are almost perfect, but they need a little bit of a tweak. That's Theo snoring in the background. So for example, I know I wanna use these coffee table books to style the mantle. And I'm gonna show you uh, my inspiration for styling the built-ins this year. It came from Pottery Barn. They had some beautiful new spring looks. Um, and they used a lot of books in this particular look. So these books are great in size, but they're all different colors and I need for them all to be the same, the same color. So I'm simply gonna wrap them in some construction paper and you'll see that come together. Um, another thing that Pottery Barn had on their site were these beautiful, I think these are called, I don't remember what these are called, but they were really, really pretty. And they were really expensive, and I was actually gonna get them, <laughs> but they didn't have any available. And so the problem now a lot of times um, with ordering things with the way things are today is the time frame for things to get in here. So Hobby Lobby had these for 50% off. Um, I'm gonna need to clean them up a little bit. I actually got some spray paint, and I'll probably cut a few of these leaves, but um, I'm gonna make it work and I'll show you how. And then one more thing I wanted to show you in the haul video, I hadn't actually picked these up, but then I saw them in Target the other day. These beautiful cases. These are uh, Studio McGee, which, funny story, I met her at a design bloggers conference in Beverly Hills a few years ago, and she was really nice. She was one of the speakers, and she was just kind of getting her business off the ground, and look at her now. She's in Target, so good for her. Um, so I wanted to throw some throw some support that way and um, so I'm going to I'm going to incorporate this into the design as well all right so let's get started with some pro tips on how to style your built-ins the process for styling shelves can be really simple if you just take a few things into consideration and the number one thing that I'll talk about is scale and symmetry if you can nail that you can really nail your styling at no matter what season or no matter what objects you're using. Typically speaking, I like to start by styling my using the largest items first and then filling in with the medium sized items and then with the smaller items. By styling in this order, I just feel like it's the easiest way for a great shelf arrangement to create that symmetry and harmony and that look of organization that you're going for. So for example, earlier I mentioned that I am going to be using books to style. Oh, my light's changing, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna be using books to style the built-ins. So what you wanna do is repeat the process at least once or twice. So I'm gonna show you how I do that. And no matter what stage you're in, remembering the scale is important. Bigger items will go on your bigger shelves and then your smaller items will go on your smaller shelves. I try to stay away from items that are too small because it starts to create a feeling of clutter and we don't want that. So I am going to stop talking. I'm gonna move the camera back and let you watch me go through this process. I'll probably speed it up because I changed things around several different times, but I'll talk you through what I'm doing and hopefully you get some great ideas for styling your built-ins for this spring and summer. As I mentioned earlier, I like to start with my largest pieces followed by filling in with my medium-sized pieces and then with my smallest pieces. I use that same process for color. So I'll have one major color theme. In this instance, it's going to be neutrals. And then I'll bring in a medium bit of a second color and then a pop of a third color. So we'll see if you can figure out what that is without me telling you for kicks and giggles uh, by the time this is all done.
that ceramic bowl is a big and heavy piece. I know you're going to ask where it's from. I got it a few years ago at Pottery Barn. And this case is pretty much a staple piece that I use the style of built-ins. It's a gift for my children and inside it's filled with all of their little handmade birthday cards and some Christmas ornaments and things that they've made for Mother's Day. So that always stays out there uh, except during Christmas time. And now I'm repeating the process with the books. So if you are going to use books to style, you'll want to do it in two or three different places. So you'll see me style uh, the left side of the built-ins with a few books, and then I'll repeat the process on the right side as well. And definitely don't be afraid to experiment, play around with different um, placements until you feel comfortable with it. I never nail it on the first time. And usually once I get to like that third shelf, I have to stop and take a break. Um, and that's what's going to happen here. But see how nicely things are coming together already and I'm not even done yet. So I took a little break. I spray painted those uh, stems from Hobby Lobby. And then once I got that be styled, I felt like I could move forward. So here's a look at the finished product uh, in the evening. Everything came out nice and balanced, right? So my major color that I used was neutral or white, uh, followed by the medium color, which was blue. And then I used a pop of green. By the way, that moss bowl is from Target and the beads were actually a gift from uh, HGTV. We're working on a project for HGTV Dream Home, so you'll see more of that coming soon here, hopefully in the next month or so. So hopefully you found this helpful if you struggle with styling shelves. Again, I use three different sizes, right? Small, medium, and large, and then three different colors uh, to pull this look together. I think it came out lovely. It'll carry me right through summer. And if you walked away from this video with at least one new idea, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel for more content like this. I'm waiting on just a couple more pieces to come in uh, to finish styling for spring and then I'll give you a little spring home tour. Uh, thank you so much for your time today for stopping by and I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Until then, love and peace.